In the field of pulmonary fibrosis, it's, it's, a, it's an exciting time because for many years we've had no treatments for these diseases. And patients who had pulmonary fibrosis were given several years to live without any real options other than lung transplantation for more prolonged survival. And within the past couple of years, we finally now have some therapies which are effective for these diseases, and at least they slow them down a little bit. Many people in the field, myself included, believe that what we call pulmonary fibrosis is really a heterogeneous mix of, of multiple different diseases. And to really effectively treat these diseases appropriately, we need to start to understand the molecular heterogeneity in that disease process. And so we can pick treatments that target the molecular abnormalities in any one individual with this disease, sort of moving towards personalized medicine for pulmonary fibrosis through um, analyzing patient samples, start to tease out that molecular heterogeneity, to start to figure out what's gone wrong in these different individuals with this, this disease that's causing pulmonary fibrosis so that we can pick therapies that will treat that individual's disease. And I think we're, we're probably 10 or 15 years behind cancer treatment because that's sort of, that's really what's blossomed in cancer treatment in the last five to 10 years is this idea of personalized medicine. No longer looking at a cancer as a lung cancer or a liver cancer or a pancreatic cancer. Instead, looking at it and, and seeing what are the molecular abnormalities driving the tumor and treating those molecular abnormalities as opposed to the tissue that it came from. Uh, and I think, that, I think that that's the way forward for, for pulmonary fibrosis as well.